Oops. So, we purchased this Planet Zoo. Decided to give it a try. And, uh, all things being, we've already done this. But, just for the sake of gaming, we're going to do it again. We're going to start new. And here we are at the gardens. Ah, hey yo, at Hematu. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh. oh, oh, sorry about that. I, I, I have a habit of slipping back into the Planko language. <laughs> it's good to finally meet you in person. I'm Bernard. Although I insist, you call me Bernie. Okay, Bernie. The only person who calls me Bernard is my wife. <laughs> and even then, only when I've tracked elephant dung into the carpets. <laughs> okay. As you know, I own several zoos. Well, but I actually. always like to show people the ropes here at my home. Okay. This is the first zoo I ever opened. And a source of great pride for me. And prides. Thanks to a lion breeding program we ran in the 80s. <laughs> but we're in the middle of a big renovation, and that's where you come in. All right. Sadly, our old contractor had to retire after developing a fur allergy. Poor devil kept sneezing his dentures into the lion habitat. So, it's up to you to finish everything off. Ha! <laughs> I Don't do worry, that. though. Oh. I'm not completely throwing you into the deep end. All right. My head keeper, Nancy Jones, uh, will be lending a helping hand. Okay. Oh, she's a hard worker, and she'll expect you to be, too. Okay. But I'm sure you'll get along like a house on fire, or even better, one that isn't on fire. Less shouting that way. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> So, hello there. Oh, okay. From that rosy, fresh face of yours, I'm guessing you're Bernie's new hire. Good. Now, I hope you're ready to ditch your diploma because we're about to get really hands on. But before we begin the real work, how about we familiarize you with the zoo by learning how to fly around it and oh, visiting okay. some of our beautiful animals? We'll start by popping over and having a look-see at the grizzly bears in their habitat. Would this be the grizzly bears in their habitat? Okay, that goes that way. That, oop, overshot. What does this do? Not a thing. Okay. We go that way, this way. Okay. Did you know that ah. grizzly bears, also known as Ursus arctos horribilis, can hibernate for up to seven months a year? <laughs> oh, but then again, given the chance, I think a lot of people would do that too. <laughs> Sorry. Now what? Select Animal one camera. of the bears, and you'll bring up its information panel. Okay. Got that. Go to the camera. See, now, this is a fantastic way to get a close look at your animals. You can also get this hey. view of an animal by simply double-clicking on it. Oh, never mind. What? Okay, when you're ready, let's pop over to the other side of the zoo and take a look at the lions. I've marked their location for you to find. Double clicking on it. Okay, don't. Alright, fine. What? See now, this is a fantastic way to get a close look at your animals. You can also get this view of an animal by simply double clicking oh, on it. Oh, okay. Alright. Okay, when you're ready, Fear let's them. pop over to the other side Scat. of the zoo and take a look at the lions. I've marked their location for you to find. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. So... Alright.
Where have we gone? Where are we at? Okay, we're gonna go over here by the lions. Lions. Panthera Leo Leo. Or the West African lion to you and me. Lions are the most social of the big cats, and there can be as many as 40 lions in a pride. Although prides of that size are pretty rare. As Bernie would say, those lions are awesome. <laughs> which is precisely why I handle the training instead these days. <laughs> anyway, how about we get started on those objectives? Come on, let's head over to our warthog habitat and see what needs doing there. Okay, let's go over to our warthog habitat. Which is over here. As you can see, it's a lovely space for warthogs, but it's missing a certain something. Oh, well, two somethings. Yeah. <laughs> the warthogs. <laughs> so I'd like you to adopt a pair of them. To adopt animals, we need to open the animal market, which is in the animal trading section. Okay, animal trading. Animal market. There we are, a pair of perfectly splendid warthogs for our zoo. Just click on them and select buy from the side menu. Normally the animal exchange would be full of animals, but I've emptied out the market while you learn how right. it works. The last thing I need is you accidentally ordering a dozen elephants. Um, okay, let's see. Kind of tray. When you adopt an animal, it's automatically placed in the trade center where they're held until you're ready to move them into their habitat, which, okay. as it happens, you are. So how about you move them into their new home? Okay. Done that. Now what? When you ask for an animal to be moved into a habitat, your caretakers will go to the trade center, collect your animal, and deliver them to your selected habitat. I've marked the trade center's location, so let's go and watch the caretakers in action. Well, as you can see, those caretakers don't hang about. They'll move those animals to their destination as fast as possible. <laughs> of course, normally we'd have to place the animals into quarantine before moving them into a habitat. But I am assured by a person of good standing that these warthogs are in the very rudest of health. Right, let's get the warthogs' oh, habitat okay. finished yeah. up so we can keep them nice and happy. Oh, they've already you done see, that. each animal in the zoo has an overall welfare statistic, okay. basically how happy they are. And that overall welfare statistic is itself comprised of four different areas. Nutrition, social health, habitat and enrichment. Luckily, if you select an animal, you'll bring up their animal welfare information panel, which we saw earlier, where you can see how they're doing. That okay. way, you'll know exactly what areas need to be addressed. Don't worry if that's a lot to remember. You can always check the Zoopedia for more information. Okay, all right. They're hungry and thirsty. They're enrichment. What? Need oh. Let's start by making sure we're taking care of the warthog's nutrition welfare. To do this, we'll need to place a food station and a drinking station. Now, each animal requires a different type of feeding station. And for the warthogs, it's a small feeding trough. So let's add one of those and a water bowl. There. And a water bowl. Let's put a big water bowl over. Animals yeah. also require stimulation to keep them happy. Okay. Let's add a lovely mud bath for the warthogs to roll around in. <laughs> that bath will count towards their enrichment welfare, specifically their toy enrichment welfare. Huh. Well. All right. There. Oh, nice work. You've got a knack for this, I see. Now. Our contractor had to leave in a hurry, so this place is in a feral state. Unfinished thingamajigs and watsits all over the shop. But the first thing we need to finish is the ostrich habitat. It's over near the hippos. So we're going there then, are we? Um, we'll do that too. All right, locate the highlighted area. Let's 
close that so we have a bigger. All right. Let's go over here to the ostrich. Oh. Okay. Job number one here is to add a habitat gate before we complete the barrier. Okay. Every habitat needs a habitat gate. All right. After all, how else would the keepers get in and out? <laughs> Okay. Just make sure it's hooked up to the path so the keepers can reach it. Place a habitat gate. How come it's not... Well, there. No. Do, 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 do. Okay. There we go. Right. Let's complete the perimeter barrier so we can adopt us some ostriches. I've marked out an area for you to use, so I'd like you to finish off the perimeter using the brick barrier. Okay. Can we go bendy around? Obstructed. Bendy around. Bendy more. More bendy. No. Yes, no, yes. Uh, no. All right. No, that's obstructed. No, wait. No, nope, still obstructed. All right. All right, I'll come back here. We'll start doing a bendy around there. And then we'll bring it like there. And like there. work. Remember, before you can place animals in any habitat, it has to have a full loop of connected barrier. Okay. Now, you've probably noticed that guests can't actually see into this habitat at the moment. At least not without a stepladder. But seeing as they're banned, I'd like you to select a piece of barrier and swap out the brick for a glass barrier okay. so the guests can see in. There's... oh, okay. Glass. Um, let's put, no, did we do it? No, we didn't. Try this in glass. No. All right. That. Window. There we go. Oh, okay. Adding in more windows gives guests even more opportunities to see the animals in a habitat. It's always best to make sure the guests can get a good view into a habitat from the path they're walking on. Because it makes them happy. And because this would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't. The last thing we need to do is to add a donation box. You see, when guests enjoy the view of an animal, they'll make a donation. Okay. Just make sure you put them in easy to reach places like near a viewing point. Donation boxes are one of the main sources of income for the zoo, so make sure you remember them. Okay. Oh, 
All right, you've finished the habitat, so it's high time we adopted those ostriches, don't you think? Yes, I Let's think so. Let's get four of them in here. Four. Okay, animal training. Animal training. There. And four ostriches. One. Two. Three. Four. Three. Four. Send to zoo. Okay. Send to zoo. Okay. Send to zoo. Okay. Trade in the trade center. Send to the zoo. While we wait for them to be collected by the caretakers and brought to the habitat, you should get it ready for them. Okay. Add a suitable feeding station, water station, and an appropriate food enrichment item. It's often best to place things like enrichments and feeding stations near to the habitat perimeter so guests can get a really good view of the animals. Okay. Habitat. Common ostrich. Slow feeder. Ostrich. Small water drop. Let's put large people there. Put the slow feeder there. And how about a water trough? There. Yay! Oh, good to see the ostriches have somewhere they can really stretch their legs. Did you know they can actually run at 43 miles per hour? Oh, heaven forbid they ever escape. <laughs> the speed camera finds alone would bankrupt us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, most popular lion gets to 24. Well, well, Bernie certainly seems impressed. Did okay. he do his speed camera joke? Every time we get an ostrich. So. Now we've made the ostriches' lives a bit better, let's do the same for the keepers, shall we? For the to make it easier for the keepers to feed the ostriches and hippos, we should build a new keeper hut. Keeper huts are where the keepers prepare the food build for animals, so they should be placed near to the habitats to make sure the keepers don't waste their time walking when they should be looking after the animals. So we're putting this, oh, wait a minute. So we're going to put the keeper hut right there. Outside the placement area. So was that? No. 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 Okay, it'll all come back to me in a minute. Well, that's not it. Shift, no. Control. Oh wait, oh okay, back here. Angle snap 15 degrees. Show barriers. Okay. Now, if 
I can just remember. That's not it. We may never get this done. I had this problem before. I don't. It's all the stuff from Planet Coaster, and I played a little bit of that. But all right, that. Hmm. I thought you had to put it down first. That's not doing anything at all. Flattened terrain. Invalid rotation. Nice and small hut. Angle, flat, turn, do something. Valid rotation. That moves the map. This moves the map. Okay. Well, you get to see what a <coughs> why Planet Coaster didn't really go real well. That gives that. That gives up and down. To shift on this side. That's up and down. That's uh, not. Uh oh, that's not what I wanted. Go away. Alt. Well, that's not it. That turns that. Outside placement area. Well, that's not it. And that is what? Oh. Hmm. <sighs> okay, so we got six minutes before we end the video <coughs> to try to place. Oh, that's A, A, no, A, 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 A. Q, no. R, no. T, no. T, no. Y, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Space bar, oops, space bar. Nothing. Huh. Huh. Invalid rotation. Well, it's that time. <laughs> um, I guess we'll just uh, wait and see here. Uh, I'll work on this off off camera. See if I can figure it out. 
But hope you're enjoying it uh, so far. Uh, you know, once you get it, it comes back easily. It's just getting it the first time. And like I said, I just cannot remember how to rotate rotate the building. Because it's always going to go in that way. Huh. Yeah, I'm just, I'm really at a loss for the moment. But, when we come back, we'll have that building there, one way or another. So, again, I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, subscribe if you want. Uh, we'll see how this goes. If anybody is interested, we'll continue some more. Well, we'll continue through the tutorial anyway. So, uh, uh, feedback, comments, how do I do this? Let me know. And uh, I want to thank you for watching. This is going to be the end of this particular video.